press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Namaste children. So in the previous class we discussed about the structure of neurons and types of neurons and also types of neuroglia cells. In this class we will discuss about how the impulse is generated and how it is transferred to the other neurons, how impulse is generated and conducted along the nerve fiber. So the nervous tissue, the tissue which translates sensory information into action potential that will bring response in the effector organs that shows actions in the effector organs. That means nervous tissue is going to translate sensory information into action potential that is nothing but nerve impulse. This impulse when it reaches the effector organs where we see the actions. So, in the generation and conduction of nerve impulse, we have three steps. One is polarization or resting state polarization. or resting state in neuron. Another one is depolarization, depolarization or conduction of action potential, conduction of action potential along the axon So another one is repolarization. Or restoring resting state of neuron or restoring resting state of neuron. Understood? So here, so this we know that this adds on cell body So what I am writing here it is axon part. This part I am writing. So in the axon part is adhanna nanil barithaydini. Understood. So when neurons are at rest, we see negative charges inside and the neural axolemma is having
see when neurons neurons are excitable cells because their membrane will be in a polarized state what is polarized state andre the membrane one side it will have in positive charge another side it will have negative charge the type of membrane is called polarized membrane so resting neuron andre yavudu stimulus illa andre that neuron is called resting neuron when neurons are at rest when neurons are at rest outside the axon that is in extra cellular fluid outside the axon and the extra cellular fluid alli we see sodium ion concentration will be more age inside the axon we see potassium ion concentration will be more inside we see potassium ion concentration more where well, outside so outside we see outside the axon we see more sodium ion concentration and inside we see more potassium ion concentration so at rest at rest the axolemma axolemma means the plasma membrane which covers the axon is permeable to points nent markoli at rest axolemma or neurolemma axolemma or neuro lemma is nothing but plasma membrane of now fiber is permeable to potassium ions and it is impermeable to sodium ions and negatively charged protein molecules and negatively charged molecules of protein molecules so nodi when the neurons are rest outside the axoplasm or in the extracellular fluid we see more sodium ions and inside the cytoplasm of axon we see more amount of potassium ions so ionic gradient irodrinda enagutte they move from the higher concentration to lower concentration but this membrane is permeable to potassium ions only hagage enagutte illi potassium moves out of the axoplasm axon olgade axoplasm olgade in the potassium will move to the extra cellular fluid because this membrane is permeable to potassium ions and sodium impermeable to sodium ions so agagi as it is impermeable as it does not in allow the sodium ions to enter into the axoplasm so this results in outside positive charges and inside negative charges inside the axoplasm we see large size negatively charged protein molecules and that negatively charged protein molecules cannot go out to the extracellular fluid haga again agutte inside we see negative charge and outside we see positive charge so at and idru jothege other one will help to maintain this polarized state that is sodium potassium pump sodium potassium pump it is an active transport it is a idu competitive nen pitko beke it is a active transport so we through in which it sends through three sodium outside and for two potassium inside three sodium outside and two potassium inside nodi resting when neurons are rest we see active transport of sodium potassium pump nodi passive diffusion agutte as the membrane is permeable to potassium ions they move from the higher to lower concentration avaga namage we does not required any 
energy. Understood? Higher to lower hoguaga, it is not required energy. But in sodium potassium pump, three sodium will move outside. They are moving. Sodium extracellular fluid is just there. That is why they are three sodium ions will move out to the extracellular fluid from the exoplasm. In turn, two potassium ions will enter again from its lower to higher concentration. Again, when they move from lower to higher, they require energy. That is why it is active transport. That means it requires energy. So, this all helps to maintain negative charge inside and outside positive charge when neurons are at rest. When neurons are red, uh, when neurons are at rest, we see negative charge inside and positive charge outside the axolemma. This is because the axolemma is impermeable to sodium ions and negatively charged molecules. Agagi negative charge organe hogala, agag sodium will not enter into the axoplasm. With that, the membrane is permeable to potassium ions. Most of the potassium ions move out of the extracellular from uh, move out from the exoplasm to extracellular fluid. It it sodium potassium pump will help to maintain this polarized state by sending three sodium ions outside and in turn it will take two potassium into the exoplasm. So all these uh, conditions helps to maintain negative charge inside the axolemma and positive charge outside the axolemma. This state is the polarized state of neuron and that this is polarized state of neuron and the potential difference between this membrane is called resting potential resting membrane potential or resting potential. Resting membrane potential or resting potential it is nearly minus 70 millivolt. How they are going to calculate under electrode na one the negative charge ke connect matare. This is voltmeter one the positive charge connect madi measure matare that we get minus 70 millivolts. So this is the condition where we see polarized state when neurons are at rest. Next, depolarization. So, when the, we, this occurs, see sodium, these neurons are also have voltage gated channels, voltage gated channels. That means, they are going to open when there is potential difference seen across the membrane. These voltage gated channels will be closed when neurons are at rest. There are two voltage gated channels, one the sodium voltage, voltage gated channel, another one is potassium voltage gated channel. These two are also closed, you know, they close again when neurons are at rest. So now depolarization.
When see when we apply stimulus, stimulus may be either mechanical, chemical, or physical, physical like heat or cold, chemical like bases, acids and bases, mechanical like injury. When we apply stimulus, we see change in the polarized state, change in the polarized state. That means we see, not it, when neurons are at rest, rest outside positive with to inside negative with yavaga now stimulus apply martivi they we see changes in their polarity because when stimulus is applied the membrane axolema will what it will do so the sodium voltage gated channels will be opened when we apply stimulus so that results in rapid influx of sodium into the axoplasm from the extracellular fluid the vyavaga stimulus supply TV, excited region neurons are going to become excited so that makes the opening of sodium voltage gated channels then the sodium moves from extracellular fluid into the axoplasm this rapid inward movement of sodium results in reversible reverse of polarity that means inside we see positive charge outside we see negative charge that state is called depolarized state and the potential difference which is de which develops in the depolarized state is called action potential that is called action potential is nothing but nerve impulse it's nothing but nerve impulse right now yavaga now stimulus supply martivi resting state stately sodium voltage gated channels close agirutte yavaga now stimulus supply martivi there we see opening of sodium voltage gated channels that results in inward movement of sodium ions into the axoplasm so yeah as it moves inside we see reversal in polarity that means inside we see positive charge outside we see negative charge this allows the development of mini electrical circuit that means current with and adjacent to the excited region so this action potential is developed only in a localized area yelli stimulus supply madirthivi allaste we see the change in the ions not on all axon action potential is will going to develop in a very small area or localized area only when stimulus is applied change in electrical charges we see only in the area where stimulus is applied adjacent neuron adjacent nerve fiber will be in resting state this all in again resting state this part will be in polarized state only this part where we applied it will be in depolarized state it will be in depolarized state remaining r will be in polarized state aga gen agutte in in polarized state inside we see negative charge outside we see positive charge so this develops mini electrical circuit that means current flows from a to b inside and again b to a outside mini electrical circuit is going to develop between the depolarized state and polarized state of after this circuit completes voltage gated sodium voltage gated channels will be closed and rapid uh, efflux of potassium takes place before going to next stage ready resting neuronally we see inner uh, negative charge outside positive charge yak in the membrane 
axolema is permeable to potassium ions and impermeable to sodium ions and negatively charged protein molecules. But the voltage gated channels, both sodium and potassium, will be closed. Yavagana stimulus supply TV, where in that excited region we see the opening of sodium voltage gated channels that results in influx of sodium into the exoplasm that makes reversal of polarity and the outside will become negative inner will become positive and that is seen in a localized area only a part of axon the remaining axon will be at a resting state or it will be in a polarized state the electric circuit will develop from A to B that means from depolarized state to the polarized state again from polarized to depolarized state. So when the circuit completes the stimulus will shift to next region that is B region. So that we will discuss now. So once the circuit completes here, the stimulus will shift to the next region. So next region it stimulus shift up with angle. In the B part again we see reversal of polarity. Sodium gated channels open and sodium will move into the exoplasm. Again we see inside positive charge, outside negative charge. Adjacent to B again that neuron will be in resting state. Again the circuit from here B to C then again from C to B. Matta hilli one mini electrical circuit develop agate. Hilli this uh, region which is stimulated 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ರೀಪೊಲರೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಲಸ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದಂಕಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ರೀಪೊಲರೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟೋರಿಂಗ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ that state is called repolarized state and adjacent area no it now it is in depolarized state adjacent to that again it is in polarized state here it is that stimulus information will be transferred from one one part of the axon to the adjacent till it reaches the axon terminal till it reaches the axon terminal so once again i'll explain this see when neurons are at rest the neurons are at rest the inner uh, charge inside the axoplasm we see negative charge outside we see positive charge this occurred mainly due to the new axolemma is permeable to potassium ions and it is impermeable to sodium and negatively charged protein molecules hagage enagutte out sodium cannot enter into the cell it will remain outside in extra cellular fluid whereas potassium it can easily move out of the cell because the membrane is permeable this helps to maintain negative charge inside and positive charge outside idru jothege sodium potassium pump which is an active transport also helps that transfers three sodium outside and to potassium inside ee elladunu en madutte it helps to maintain negative charge inside and positive charge outside so the potential difference across this resting neural membrane is called resting membrane potential or resting potential it will be 70 millivolt yavaga na stimulus supply maartivi in that localized region we see reversal of polarity that's depolarization will take place by opening of sodium voltage gated channels resting time alli eradu close agirutte but stimulus supply madadaga we see only opening of sodium gated channels that makes influx of sodium ions into the axoplasm rapid influx of sodium ions into the axoplasm makes to develop positive charge inside and negative charge outside this condition is called depolarized state this state is called depolarized state and adjacent to that uh, uh, nerve fiber will be again it will be in a polarized state the potential difference across this depolarized membrane is called action potential that will be plus 30 millivolts to as 45 milli volts so then mini electric circuit will develop between positive to negative from a to b region that means from depolarized state to polarized state again from polarized state to depolarized state the electric mini electrical current flow circuit complete aktidankale the stimulus will shift to adjacent now fiber it will shift to adjacent area of the nerve fiber so e area in agate previous to that will become repolarized state so when it shifts to adjacent big shift aktidankale in that again we see opening of sodium gated channels in repolarized state alle in agate we see opening of potassium gated channels hagagi efflux of potassium takes place in the repolarized state avaga as positive ions move out of the axoplasm again that helps to maintain inner negative charge outer positive charge restoring resting uh, membrane resting potential back here in the repolarized state by opening of potassium voltage gated channels so this part again it will be in a repolarized state elli stimulus shift agutte that will be in a depolarized state now b is in a depolarized state once again your circuit completes it shifts to next region and next region like that it will till it reaches the 
nerve endings still it reaches the nerve endings so in the next class we will discuss how information will be transferred from this nerve endings to the next neuron so that we will discuss in the next class so idu nivu exam ge 5 marks ki keldaga nivu en maartira you should draw this diagram and should and you have to explain so idu idu haaki and this also you have to draw telgade en diagram haakidnala adu kuda haaki explain maadbekagutte nevu sir easy ag nenpi ittkolodakke nan nimme en maartini andre show you table So polarized state ले ना गिरते, we see that we see outer positive charge. This will be sodium voltage created channels. This will be potassium voltage created channels. And inner we see negative charge. Sodium potassium come. so in the polarized state when neurons are at rest when neurons are at rest sodium potassium pulp will be open enagathili it is going to it is a active transport so what happens here it will be seen Three sodium ions will move outside, and two potassium ions will move inside axoplasm. Three sodium ions will move outside. Two potassium ions will come inside, and. passive diffusion passive diffusion passive diffusion is also seen in what is passive diffusion ions will move from their higher to lower concentration as the neurilemma or axonema is permeable to potassium ions the potassium ions may move from inner to outer because potassium concentration will be more inside in compared to outside that also occur but in the active transport only it moves from its lower to higher but bare time only it moves from its higher to lower that is seen and your sodium voltage gated channel will be closed will be closed not seen and potassium voltage gated channels will also be closed so it's a closed and potential difference
rest that potential difference is called resting potential that is minus 70 milli volt so this happens when neurons are at rest then the points then pit only in the competitive okay? when neurons are at rest when they are in polarized state we see inner negative charge outside positive charge so yeah because the membrane is permeable to potassium ions agar potassium will move out of the cell that is passive diffusion occurs for potassium not for sodium and negatively charged ions the membrane is impermeable to sodium and negatively charged ions other jute again sodium potassium pump also takes place it is an active transport it requires atp molecules for this sodium three sodium move outside the axoplasm and two potassium enters into the cell and sodium and potassium gated channels will be closed they are closed and the potential difference developed across this membrane is called resting membrane potential or resting potential it is minus 70 millivolts so depolarized state alone so we see opening of sodium ions sodium voltage gated channels निम्न टेक्स्टबुक डायग्राम अली इधर ला तोर सिला निउ टेक्स्टबुक डायग्राम हाके कुडा एक्सप्लेन मार बो दो सो देयर सोडियम इस ओपन सो दिस रिजल्ट्स इन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्जेस इनसाइड एंड नेगेटिव चार्जेस आउटसाइड so in depolarized state there is sodium potassium pump function irala passive diffusion iratta sodium is open is open potassium is not open it is closed and the action the potential difference developed in the depolarized state is called action potential it will be of plus 30 milli volt to 45 milli volt. So that happens in the depolarized when neurons are depolarized. Again, repolarized. Repolarized means again we see negative charges inside and positive charges outside. So in the repolarized state we see opening of potassium voltage gated channels. Again, the potassium moves outside the axoplasm and sodium gated channels will be closed. Sodium gated channels will be closed. So this potassium again this Passive diffusion occurs. So this is not potassium. So it will be closed and it will be opened. So this happens when repolarization takes place. What happens in repolarization? Passive diffusion is at the sodium potassium pump is in only in the resting state only again yes this also opens and sodium gated channels will be closed potassium gated channels will be opened so that neuron will be in a repolarized state so this ether table akanda you can remember these points in your competitive exams competitively the tumba keltara sodium potassium pump it is an a passive transport or active transport and the keltara is an active transport yaakla the active transport it requires energy because sodium moves from its lower to higher concentration 
ತ್ರೀ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಟು ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಪೋಲರೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಓಟೇಟ್ ಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಆ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ವೆನ್ ನ್ಯೂರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಮಿಲಿ ಓಲ್ಟ್ ಡಿಪೋಲರೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನು ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಓಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ವೆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮುಲಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮುಲಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ರೀಪೋಲರೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಓಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ potassium voltage gated channels so this is about how the generation and conduction of nerve impulse takes place in the next class we'll discuss about synapses and types of synapses and properties of neurons thank you